welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make um, some decorated card printing with homemade um, mosaic stamps. So I'm putting onto my sheet of glass some 160 gram card and in my little foam paint palette I have wallpaper paste which has been pre-mixed and I have added in some acrylic paint and just lightly blended that so that it's not um, too concentrated when I come to apply it. I'm using a little sponge roller just to gently coat the surface of my stamp. I do this rather than dipping it in because if I dip it in I'm going to pick up too much paint. And now what I'm going to do is gently press this down onto the surface, make sure I've got the alignment right and then press firmly once I've done that. Re-ink it all the time until you have covered your page because if you don't re-ink it you're going to find that the design is going to get paler and paler. Let me show you what I mean. If I didn't re-ink this, you'd see that this print would be lighter. It might be what you want to just do a variation, but if you want it to be more or less the same, then carry on with re-inking. And you could do this so that instead of it being square on the paper and fitting in snugly to the corners, you could do this as a diamond as well. And I'll show you that one in a second. This paste grain is really nice because it doesn't take long to um, mix up. Um, I normally do it the night before, so it's ready the next day. Um, I'm afraid I get a bit impatient, so when I want to go, I want to go. And the paste grain paper is lovely. The wallpaper paste lasts a long time once it's been mixed up. I mix it up in soda bottles and um, it's good to go. So there you go, that's the first one. And then the second one I was telling you about was if you were to print on a diagonal. So let's just ink this up. And you might want to start over here. There we go. It'll just give you a completely different feel. I find it easier to work in, if I'm doing a diagonal, to work in a strife going down and then I've got good lines on either side to work with because if I tend to try and block in then you find it's too much. Okay, so something's happened here and it's a good thing to show you. So if you get too much paint in between your blocks of foam and it gets in between the groove, when you print it you're going to get that thick line. I'm not going to try and remedy this, I'm just going to leave it to dry and it will act a bit like a shadow, but it is a good idea if you have put too much and you've noticed it before you start printing, just use something like a little popsicle stick or a sucker stick, a knitting needle, something just to get the paint out from between the grooves on the stamp itself. It's one of the reasons why it's not easy to do this technique using normal card stamps, because the grooves are actually so fine and there's so many of them that you won't normally get away with it very easily. Okay, so I've nearly finished this one and you will see that it is, has a completely different feel to it to the one that I did previously which was the block on the block. So let me put them side by side so you can see. That's the diagonal and here is the one that we did square into the corner of the design. Happy with both of those. I think they will make beautiful, beautiful um, craft project. So I hope you feel inspired and there's plenty more different techniques using paste grain. Um, please have a look at them in my playlist. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.